What's going on, YouTube? This is SG1 Sports. We're here on the SEC channel at the Voice of College Football, giving you my Week 7 power rankings in the SEC. We saw a good bit of movement this week. And keep in mind, these are power rankings. These are how the teams are playing right now. The last two or three weeks, really, we're trying to focus on that. So things that happened in Week 1, Week 2, uh, we're not really looking at that as much. It's not a resume ranking or anything like that. It's just about how the teams are playing right now so we start at the bottom 11 through 14 uh vanderbilt played Ole Miss tough for a half but i think vanderbilt's <laughs> i don't know i mean we've seen some signs from auburn and missouri where they've looked halfway decent and then we've seen times where they've looked terrible and we thought you know vanderbilt could probably beat auburn vanderbilt could probably beat missouri it's really hard to to know until we see vandy play you know like missouri missouri Play Georgia tough. Missouri did not get blown out by Florida. You can make an argument for Missouri over Auburn, although Auburn did just beat them head-to-head -head a couple of weeks ago. Uh, that's why, for now, I've still got Auburn ahead of Missouri. But those, to me, are, are definitely the bottom three teams. LSU trying to get in that conversation. Boy, they got blown out by Tennessee. Did not compete, really, at all in that game. And we saw them really look like, I guess, Auburn. Auburn looked like the better team, and we thought, well, LSU just played bad. Uh, or maybe Auburn is actually better than we thought. No, Auburn's still pretty bad, and LSU's just bad, too. They're both bad. And uh, LSU, with all the talent that they have, it's hard to figure out why they have played as poorly as they have. But, again, no no chance against Tennessee, completely blown out, and they dropped to number 11 in our power rankings. All right, 6 through 10, Arkansas really struggling. Three losses in a row. Didn't really compete all that great against Mississippi State. Of course, K.J. Jefferson was out in that game. And if he doesn't come back, Arkansas is in big, big trouble. Uh, they're not going to win many more games. With him back in there, I think this team can bounce back. It's still a tough schedule ahead of them. Texas A&M played Alabama tough. I think they actually were a little lower last week. But because of the way they played against Alabama, uh, and that was enough to get them up to number nine, even though they didn't win that game. Kentucky at number eight. Uh, didn't play great without Will Levis in there at quarterback. Obviously, that is a big, big blow for them. South Carolina beat them head to head, and we have to look, you know, at, at recent football. South Carolina has been playing a lot better ever since they lost two games. They've played much, much better, and this was a big win for them over Kentucky on the road. So they're up to number seven in Florida at number six, playing Missouri at home, a game that was pretty close, actually. Missouri, I think, I believe, yeah, they had the ball kind of late in that game with a chance to maybe go down and tie. So uh, not. Not looking like a great team right now for Florida, but they're they're pretty solid and they're taking care of business here against a team like Missouri. Uh, it, it's tough in the SEC again. Georgia played, or Missouri played Georgia tough. Missouri Auburn was a close game, so it's not a surprise at all that that game was close. Florida though got the win. They're four and two, and they'll have a big opportunity against LSU to maybe even move back into the top five. Possibly, we'll see what happens uh, in the rest of the SEC. Moving on to the top five. I've got Mississippi State at number five, five and one. Boy, you know, they had that LSU game. They really let it get away from them in the second half. This is a team that could be six and oh right now and would probably be in the top 10 nationally. Ole Miss is in the top 10 nationally. They're six and oh. Slow start against Vanderbilt, but they finished really strong in that game. All right, I've got Alabama at number three. And if, if you watch over on my channel, my top 25, I have Alabama ahead of Tennessee in my top 25. But if we're looking at power rankings and how they're playing right now, Tennessee's playing better than Alabama, especially without Bryce Young. Uh, and that, that's going to make for a really fun game on Saturday. I, I can't wait to see what happens in that one. Uh, even if Bryce Young is back and he is healthy and he is ready to go, I still think that's going to be a close game. I think that's going to be a good game. Tennessee, again, playing better right now. Alabama obviously has a chance to move back ahead of them if they can beat them on Saturday. But Georgia, uh, they're number one for me when you look at uh, the way they dominated against Auburn. Uh, you could make an argument for Tennessee to really even be ahead of Georgia after Georgia did struggle against Missouri, but I think they bounced back and showed that they still can be the best team in the country, can still be the best team in the SEC. Uh, really played well on Saturday. The defense is looking like we expected it to look like it looked early in the year. Uh, so after that win and the way they completely dominated that game, I've got Georgia back to number one in my power ranking. So that's what we've got for week seven as we head into week seven, a big weekend in the SEC. We'd love to get your thoughts. Uh, give me your thoughts, your, your rankings. How would you rank the teams? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more right here on the SEC channel at the Voice of College Football.